In this video for Bentley Open Buildings Designer Connect Edition Mechanical Modeling HVAC Systems, we're going to take a look at creating a new work set and a new file. I'll start Open Buildings Designer from my desktop shortcut. Here in the work page, I have my workspace set to Building Examples. I'll come to the Work Set list open the list and come down to the bottom here where I can create a new work set. In the Create Work Set dialog box, I'll give this a name. And a description. And choose a template. The template I'm using is this one called Multi-Use Retail Building United States. This is delivered with the Dataset US of Open Buildings Designer. It is set up in Imperial units. This work set is delivered with the Dataset NM and it is set in metric units. So I'll choose my template and select OK. So I've got my new work set created. I'll create a new file. I'll name this file MHVAC Modeling Training. And I'll go ahead and select Save. I'll attach architectural references to use as a background. In this HVAC modeling course, we're going to look at different options for modeling things like air terminals and our placement options for modeling ductwork, etc. But we want to have a background out here. And to do that, we'll attach a couple of architectural models as references. So I'll come up to the ribbon interface. I'm in the mechanical tab in the common tools group. Come to my reference tools and select attach reference. I'll go to the designs folder of my new work set here and choose agrocery.dgn and I'll hold my shift key down and select the agrocery mezzanine file also. My attachment method is set to interactive. I'll select open. I notice that. My reference attachment properties for the A grocery file opens. I'll turn on live nesting. Set it to a depth of five. And select ignore attachment when live nesting. And then OK. My mezzanine attachment file opens. All the settings I just set will be there from the last attachment. And I'll select OK there. I see in my views that I've got the architectural references attached. One more thing I want to do just for clarity in these, this training is turn off the spaces in the architectural models, the level. So I'll come up to my levels, open up level display. I have my level display docked over here on the right, unpinned. And if I collapse everything down here, I'll make sure that A area is turned off in all of my views by selecting this tool up here, Apply to Open Views. Again, just for clarity while we're doing this modeling. Now, one more thing I want to do is turn on the grid, the column grid. I'll come to my floor selector and double click on the ground floor here, and I see the column grid show up. I'll come up to the Quick Access toolbar and Save Settings. Next time I open this file, it will open up just like this. So now I've got a new work set and I've got my references attached. I've got my work set created. I've got my file created, attached my architectural references. In the next video in the course, we'll take a look at 
different options for modeling different air terminals. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.